Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 54, quarter-final between Martin Septum and his Pro Elves, Elven Union, uh, lots of Armour 7 players <laughs> versus Daedalquist and his Dwarves, loads of Armour 9 block tackle mighty blow players, should be really interesting. Battle of the Swedes, there you go. Uh, Martin's got 13 players, who's got the... Is there any inducements? Yeah. Um, oh, Martin's got a babe, which is decent. And he's also got the best team name, Roller Dwarfs, Fouar. And all of his players are called Jimmy Fantastic, Fouar. Um, but no, look, there we go, instant cars. Rookie mistake, taking the babe, and now every single block is going to be a cars. <laughs> That's the way it works. It's obviously really shit for the elves. Like dwarves are tailor made to beat elves, aren't they? Yeah, they're slow. But um, the elves have got to roll dice and make something happen, basically. Like, they can be exploited, right? Dwarves can get into trouble against elves. But they've got to get into trouble to get into trouble, if you know what I mean. Like, it, the default is just a grind. A grind down, killing everybody. Um, but the L's, you know, if the L's can do something, then, uh, you know, it can stick away from the dwarves. It's not like an order win or anything. But, I mean, they're pretty much tailor made for dwarves, right? Because they haven't got the armor of high elves or dwarves, and they haven't got the war dancers for like desperation plays. So they're really, they're really short of ideas, pro elves. Streams frozen. No. Oh god, this is how desperate Martin Septim is. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Best possible matchup is, of course, somebody who doesn't want to play Blood Bowl 2 at all. <laughs> but uh, failing that, this is pretty good. Oh. Mmm, yep. Two cars in two turns, classic. Both classic dwarves and classic pro elves. <laughs> not, yeah, exactly, you see. He named too many people, not Jimmy Fantastic. Jimmy Benchtastic. Mmm, yeah. And there's there's another one as well. Um, Kalon better than Fymir. But all of the best players are called Jimmy Fantastic. So you know what can I say? No, I won't give in until I'm victorious, and I will defend. I will defend. Tell you what, Goliath. Forty-six months. When you see a family having a nice picnic, <laughs> you concrete over the park. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember the whole thing. I can't remember any of it. But uh, thank you very much, Steve. Fantastic. I'm not too bad, I guess. Well, pretty bad, but that's what it is. Another cast. Well, hey, again, not not Jimmy Fantastic cast. Three cast in three turns, but the ball is bit. Okay, it's not based on that. 
And he's killed. <laughs> and yep, I mean, down four players in three turns means there's not a lot of agency left, is there? Maybe down five players. Yep. Down five players in three turns. Jesus. Let's run away for the rest of the half, I guess. Dirty player runner can have a go. <laughs> Bit lax with the ball. Could have made the ball secure up here and then and then greeted that. Like four re rolls, right? You wanna you wanna be greeted. Limited hits. Fantastic farm. Yeah, exactly. But there was no reason to have the ball exposed, right? Just had to move this first. And then it. Indeed, Ducky, indeed. Bad play from Data, really targeting the non jury fantastic players. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was probably good from uh, probably good from Martin to like leave them more exposed, right? They are literally his worst players, right? His line holes. Whereas the positionals are. Oh, Jimmy Fantastics. I mean, there's Jimmy Fantastic line holes as well, but all of the all of the most expendable players are not Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> Degree this, of course, because it's a two in or one. You'll do nothing. Ooh. Have, oh, okay. Well, she's done him first then. You obviously gotta gotta protect the hatch five. Maybe should have, you know, positioned everyone so that this guy couldn't blitz. But he's not blitzing anyway. Quarterfinals team on Taylor. You may find that hard to believe with Daedal Quist still in. <laughs> oh, got it, got it. Oh, he doesn't, he hasn't got his. All you needed, all you needed was dwarfs. Dwarf, 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 dwarf. It's 
funny because Chunt had tried Orcs once and he absolutely hated them. But I guess you're enjoying dwarves. <laughs> Exactly, yeah. get the chance to play like chunk of this game did he? You just got everyone in your instantly. Whoa! <laughs> Diddle boy! <laughs> Again all four cars are the non Jimmy Fantastic players. <laughs> I mean, deserved, to be honest. You know, Martin Septim, come on, you've got a team theme. You've given most of your players the best possible name in Blood Bowl. It's kind of justice. Kind of justice that all of the non Jimmy Fantastics get fucking killed and <laughs> crippled. <laughs> Good. Let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> Is it only Jimmy's left now? No, there's still Bench Boy. Oh, stand firm. Oh, stand firm. I like the stand firm there, by the way. He just levelled up before this game. I really like taking the stand firm. And he's really lacking my e blow as well, but I still thought more important to get an extra stand firm. Playing for the, uh, just playing for the riot, I guess. Quick snap, not enough. As if there's no juggernaut or anything. Yeah. Honestly, even if it wasn't this match, I still just kind of think, with like, you know, three matches max left, just, uh, the stand firm's more likely to win you a match in terms of positionally, you know, you get stuck in and do something, whereas the main blow is like somewhat diminishing returns. If it was, you know, if it was 30 more games, obviously might you blow. But um, when there's only a few more left, that's the thing, isn't it? The short term thing, the stone fell is better. Well, there you go, 1 0. To Dado. Jimmy Fantastic stays out, diced, one in nine. Very unlucky. For my Inceptor. So he can dack a much better strategy with uh, high movement and high agility players than with zombies. <laughs> <laughs> So the question is, 
can he get to overtime? How many players will he have at overtime? And can he win the toss? If he wins the toss, he's got a shot, doesn't he? I mean, if he can stall it as well, which... Eight players is possible. It's not great, but it's possible. You do want a ninth. I mean, you want a ninth, a tenth, and an eleventh, don't you? You could. But the good thing about the Dakar is it's easier to Dakar with fewer players than it is to do a normal drive with fewer players, right? So it's totally fine. It's just you'd rather have more. You'd rather have dodge on your players as well than bloody be facing mass tackle from dwarves. So there's a good chance he uses like three re rolls on this drive, even if everything goes well. Really good chance he uses three. He's got to be tr just try and save one for overtime if he can get there, and then hope he wins the toss. And then hey. farm some passes. Let's go. Can't, you can't name your players Jimmy Fantastic and not farm, not farm vanity passes. Come on. <laughs> this was the perfect time, honestly, in a game that you're probably going to lose anyway. <laughs> huh. Get two competitions on this catcher and a touchdown as well. What I'd be trying to do. <laughs> now, obviously, not. You just got to try and take anything you can. And the add five leap is the best one to have the ball, isn't it? I mean, he's the best one to have the ball, but you'd 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 in a way rather much rather use him as like a outlet or whatever. Oh, probably quite high, probably like 40%. Oh, sorry, 35, uh, 38.729. Mm. Maybe not that high. 36.442 <laughs> Yeah, I think he'll get it done. I think he'll get the DACA done. Which is why he's so close to 50-50, because then obviously if he wins... And get to the toss, like if he has some players there. It's interesting. Yeah, I'd never do that. Do yeah, this another turn of no blitz means that Martin's equity's gone up to thirty eight point zero five one. Funny that he assisted with the wrestle, I would have rather blitzed with wrestle. Oh, clever Jim.
No, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying, that, but I'm not saying it's right to blitz. But the point is, it's like it's another turn of no damage, right? That's the beauty of the Daka. Stops him taking damage. If you, you know, if the blitz had cast somebody, then uh, all of a sudden, yeah, this is pretty shit. This was pretty shit. <laughs> Been a good boy, not blitzing for several turns. Needs a power here, though. But yeah, gaping fool. And it's not, it's not, it's not a gaping hole, is it? But it's, uh, it's enough. That it gives him a shot that he shouldn't have had, basically. Never noticed the skull on the knee pads before. <laughs> it's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> pretty cool skull on his knee pad. Oh no, Jimmy Fantastic's dead. Diced. Apple fails. Never lucky. That was only the thrower though. Three deaths is brutal here. For Martin, if you can get if you can pick up the double yeah. Probably gotta reroll out as shit as it is and it's not really getting anywhere. Oh. Jimmy Van Dyke Apple experience, indeed. Indeed. Well, there you go. A fantastic Dakar from uh, Martin Septim. There you go. You know, good discipline from Daedal, Then he does the then he does the the dumbass frenzy blitz, <laughs> pulls himself out of position, exploited. GG. Well, not GG. They haven't gone up by that much, Team and Taylor, because they're already pretty high. I, I, I already thought he'd score the Daka, right? So it's just... It's, I thought he'd score the Daka, but I mean, he might not, right? It's how many rerolls he uses getting there. If he gets there, he might not. Does he use rerolls getting there? Does he get there? Does he use rerolls getting there? How much damage does he take getting there? The biggest thing is... It's the overtime toss though, right? Because if Dado wins the overtime toss, it's all it's an auto win. I'd say. And if Martin wins the overtime toss, then uh It's not an auto win, but it, it's still pretty high, I would say. It's still pretty high for my So I'd say he's high to score and he's high to score if he wins the toss. Three day, lovely. Well, just scoring was sensible, wasn't it? There's an argument that you've got to get lucky to win, so he blitz, but I think it's better not to, and then take those re rolls in all the time and see if you win the coin toss. Oh my god, he's stayed unconscious again. Three out of three fails with a babe. Unbelievable. Yeah, he hasn't got many, has he? But he might. It, it depends if he takes more here as well. 
And if he wins the toss. <laughs> If he loses the toss, I mean, he could get a blitz or, you know, Dale could fail the pick up. I'm not totally doing if he loses the toss. But. Yes, love the pylon. He's coming back on a 3 plus pylon. Glorious. It's the 3D 4. I mean, the Decker did work well. He took like three cars in the first half. And then, you know, Dado was just being a look at dog, hasn't he? The Daka was great. I'd like to see somebody starting with eight players against Dwarves do a normal drive. Stall out, it'll turn eight. <laughs> Giving him a shot. It's giving him a shot. <laughs> He's filled for four out of four or five out of five. Three plus KO rolls. Jesus Christ. I didn't even see who won. Oh, there was one. Well, <laughs> might be a blitz, might be a misfield, but obviously Dale should just completely cover the blitz now, which looks to be what he's doing. One less on the hitting the LOS here. Maybe no two less. Just take both of these off the LOS here. Cover here and here. Back there. Back here, right? Both of these want to go one back. Just cover against the blitz more. No four out of four. This guy, just this guy, this one player, this mighty blow tackle. Let's just stay there. Stay down. I just met this one player. <laughs> really, I was very unlucky this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you sure were. You sure were really unlucky. Yeah. Yep. I mean, it can happen, right? Also, he's committed way too heavily here to take these hits, right? This was definitely a moment for play it safe, play it safe, play it safe, play it the safest you can possibly play it. And instead it was rah, 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 hits, hits, hits. If ever there was a time to play like your opponent was Chunter, it was now. Well, I'm just going to 1D the ball. Oh god, okay, doing this first. I mean, it's a super easy 1D, isn't it? I think you've got to take a super easy 1D. I don't know how effective that was doing the uphill first. Indeed, up to the dog. Yeah, that was that was pretty shit and bad. 
Like contextually, right? Like the fact that it's literally the only chance that uh, Martin has as if. Different if it's turn one of the first time. Yeah, he had to go for this 1D there, I think. But then, you know, what even happens if he gets it? Not much. But there's got to be a chance, right? You've just got to hope that you can then, you know, get a god scatter. Another elf dodges through, picks it up, passes it, the other one catches it, fucks off, wins. Somebody in and chain, but I don't think it achieves anything. It doesn't, does it? Mm. Whoa. A removal. Oh, I hate that apple. <laughs> I can't put into words how much I despise that apple. <laughs> Flip me. I mean, it's, it's you know, the right thing for winning the game, obviously. Because you're really unlikely to take a Kaz in the last few turns. And, you know, he's unlikely to have much impact. But he might have some impact. So it is the right decision for winning the game, but that is one where I would take Chalice Equity over Match Equity. It's not instant. Uh, uh, it's a weird one. It's a weird one. Like it's it's definitely the right decision to win. It's just it doesn't even add, it doesn't even add you that much to win this match, does it? That's the problem. What match equity the pro elves have about fucking nine point zero four two. Might not even have that. <laughs> yeah, Dave's just to make sure he's got a guard around the ball, right? So it'd be an uphill. I mean, I'm sure he's like, fuck this as well, but you've still got to. You know, go through the motions, haven't you? <laughs> you might, uh, might get lucky. Oh, I don't like that. Oh! We rolls into a skull. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful cars.
He gets psyched out. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. <laughs> Hello, comes. Jimmy. Hello, it's Flamingo. Thank you very much. Staying fantastic for 33. Glorious maze. This is not an early GG. <laughs> Saying GG when it's over isn't an early GG. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no, it's a GFI, but it's, uh, it, it really is old. Oh, MC Krill. <laughs> good for Daedal, isn't it? It's good for Daedal. <laughs> Not so good for Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> the many Jimmy Fantastics of Martin Septon. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you should have found him. Like, by all means, found him next turn, right? You want to, you want to crowd him so that you can found him next turn, or just get it, just get into range for next turn. Something like that. <laughs> oh, no, I can't, shouldn't do that. Never gonna guess what would happen in this game. Uh. Shouldn't surf him, right? Because, uh. Ooh! Don't get SVPs back. Could that have been three? No, he wasn't guard. Probably should have put the guard in so it would have been three. First. Yeah, two on two. I think it's not that bad, right? Because there's only like three players, so even if he gets a 1D, not much is happening after it. But yeah. I like think it's easy to take your, your your eye off the ball, isn't it, when you're like, you know, when things are going super well or super badly. It's really easy to like Glorious. stop playing. No, I won't best. give in until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. How many games in is this? Oh Baron Boogie, this is the second quarter final. So we've got two Got two after this. This is over. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing as well, right? The people playing it. Uh, it takes a long time and they get debilitated. So there you go, 25 AV breaks to 4. The Dimmy coefficient <laughs> works out both game, both quarterfinals so far. Um, seven cards, three of them deaths. KO rolls. Where is it? One out of seven. He even failed the one after the match as well. <laughs> Unbelievable. Six out of six KO fails for Jimmy Fantastic. What a, what a disaster. Right. Um, commiserations to Martin Septum. Congratulations to Daedalquist. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.